This is the ribbed spider web stitch. It creates a circular spoked element that's textured and that's a lot of fun to add to any type of embroidery, any type of surface embroidery project. Um, so it's worth learning because it's a lot of fun. So I'm working around a circle of spokes that I'm going to start with. So these are my foundation stitches. And I have nine here. So because it's an odd number, I'm going to be taking the stitches down into the center to create the wheel of spokes for this stitch. You can actually work the ribbed spider web stitch on an even number of spokes. And if you do that, then you can, you can work from one side of the circle to the other without going down into the center. But since this is an odd number, I'm going down into the center. So there's the foundation. Now bring the working thread up between two spokes and switch to a tapestry needle. You'll want to use a tapestry needle that has a blunt tip for this. So there's my working thread, there are my spokes. Here's my tapestry needle with a long eye and a blunt tip. And to work the stitch, I'm just going to work underneath that first spoke, pull it through, and then go back around that first spoke and underneath it and the next spoke. So you can see this is kind of a back stitch motion where I'm going back over the spoke that I just crossed under and forward under the next spoke. So back underneath the one I just crossed under and then forward underneath the next one. So back one, forward two. That's pretty much the movement all the way around. Back one and forward two. When you go back one, you're wrapping the thread around the spoke like a back stitch, and this is going to create those little tubes over the spokes. As you work around the circle, pack your stitches in so that they fill up the circle, but don't pack them so tight that they begin to overlap each other. So just go around and as you work around the circle, just pack the stitches in and you can use your needle to do that. So pass under, under one, and then going forward under two. So back and then forward two. And pack those stitches in. And you're going to work all the way around the circle this way until you get the circle filled up. So back one, forward two, back one, forward two. And here you can see that the circle is pretty much full. You can pack it until you can't see any of the spokes, or you can leave the little spokes sticking out if you like that look. I'm going to end the thread up here. So I'm going to go back one, and I'm not going underneath the next spoke because this is where I'm ending the thread. Now I'm going to take my needle down right underneath that next spoke, just like that, and pull through. And that is the ribbed spider web stitch. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.